Well, hello! <laughs> As you can see, I'm Right, I'm Right will be starting in about four minutes and 15 seconds. Yes, four minutes and 15 seconds. I'm Right, I'm Right will start and you'll have me, Anthony Cordova, or Tony C, and Jill Cox Cordova right here live. So, you gotta check it out. Now, if you're watching this in replay, you can fast forward past this spot and get right into the show. But if you're here live, which we hope you are, we love a live audience, and just so you know, every show we do is recorded live, and we don't edit out anything. We never do, so if we make mistakes, it's going to be in there. It's going to be in the final product. If we have bloopers, they're going to be in the final product. We try to keep it real with you at all times. So, that is how we roll. Now, also, if you actually want to participate in the show and you want to talk to us, actually talk to us, you need to do that from the website. And the website is jillcoxcordova.com and you need to go click on the podcast tab and also know that you can make comments on Facebook and YouTube and you can watch us from there also but we really hope you um, enjoy the show from our website where you can also make comments you just have to page down a little bit from the main screen and you'll see the comment screen and you can make all types of comments so like i said we only have about two minutes and the show will start and both of us will be here and we're going to be very happy to hear from you so come on and we want you to be live right here and we really want to hear your voice and see you also to be part of our show because our show without you isn't a whole show we need you right here with us uh, so we can hang out right here on i'm right i'm right and we only have one minute and 24 seconds so the show will start in that time and again if you are watching this in replay just fast forward past this spot and get right into the show so we'll be with you in just about a minute so see you soon Now also know that while you're on Facebook or YouTube, if that's where you're watching the show from, you can hit emojis, which is real easy, which would be, we'd like to see the emojis too, because we know we're, you're there, and we really do love it when, you're, when we know you're there. So just as easy as pushing a, an emoji will help us a lot. So we got 16 minutes and we'll be right with you. So please stand by. Now you can hear us. Jill was wasn't waiting for me to turn I on our I was, mics. I was ready. I was ready <laughs> because this is I'm right. I'm right. And I'm Jill Cox Cordova. I'm Anthony Cordova. Hi everybody. 
Hey, what's up? What's we're up back. with y'all? We're back. We're, we're here every Wednesday. <laughs> we are? Yes, we are. We are. We were gone for a while, you know. We were. For we're, months we were gone, but we're we back. We were gone. We took a little break. But we're back. Yes. Yes, we yes we are. So what's happening here? What's happening here this evening, Jill? Is what I wish to know. What, well, what our topic on? tonight is sleeping on the job. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? But actually, when I do it, I do it like this. <laughs> well, but, you'll get but, to give your stance in a segment that we call. Stand by your stance. Ooh, stand by your stance. So you've already shown wow. us that you think it's perfectly fine to sleep on the job. I didn't say that. You said this is how I do it. And I said you this demonstrated. Is, this is how I do it. Now, that's how that's how you do it. That's that's how you do it. Why, yes. why that way? Well, let's say you're... Because you're, you're look, closed off. This is, this is wear, closing yourself off. I wear glasses. Yes. See? Now, I'm going to close my eyes. Look. Am I sleeping? Am I not sleeping? And am, I, am I staring at you? What am I doing? Am I chilling? You get, you're closing What's, me off. <laughs> <laughs> You're closing me off. That's what you were doing. Okay, so that means that someone that may suspect I'm uh, sleeping, they're like looking at me. Oh, oh, what are they doing? Are they sleeping? Oh, that's I'm the afraid, first thing I would think. I'm afraid to walk up to them because maybe they're not sleeping. That's the first uh, thing. I, and if I thought you were sleeping, I would definitely walk up to you look, and look, say, "Hey, what's the difference? Look, check this out. What's up? <laughs> See, what's the difference between?" What's up? And I'm sleeping. Do it again. What's Let up? Let's see. Yeah. What's up? And, and then show the sleeping and one. And this is sleeping. You're not sleeping there. I'm sleeping. See? With your eyes open? Oh, is that what I you're trying sleep. to tell me? I can sleep with my eyes open. I can. Well, that's creepy. <laughs> hey, it is. It is definitely That's creepy. That's definitely creepy. It is definitely creepy. But, um, yeah, sleeping on the job, a nap. You know, other countries take uh, siestas. Well, like, that's every true. Day. When, so why when I was in Europe we? and in Italy, I loved uh, the siesta time. And they take it very seriously. They get upset with you if you're trying to do something during yeah. those hours. So I was always trying to work. That's right. That's right. Well, you know, I'm, I'm always conducting polls on LinkedIn. And I asked, have you ever caught anyone sleeping? And the options were yes, no. And then it's me. I, I have slept on the job. That was the third option, right? Okay. Nobody admitted so far that they, sleep? that they had slept on the job. I guess I'm the one I've slept on. The you job. are not the only one because a survey says 34% of people take daily naps. Daily naps? Daily naps <laughs> during their job. <laughs> during their job. So okay. you're not alone. But the poll okay. results were, yes, they, they've seen other people mm -hmm. go to sleep on the job. Okay. And fourteen percent said no. Okay, no. I not. I have not witnessed it in my workplace, and you know now that many people work from home, like I do, yes. it would be really easy to go to sleep. As if if you like, well, at my job, you know, you need to be on, um, yeah. so you have to, you know, answer pings and stuff. But okay, cool. they make a sound, so that if you slept in the same room you just wake that up. you work in, you just wake up. Yeah, that's it. Not that I do that. I don't do that. No, you so don't. So I've never witnessed anybody um, do it in uh, a job, my job. But when I was teaching, I definitely witnessed some students. And it would make me mad. That would make me mad. 
that they were sleeping, had the really? nerve to <laughs> really? sleep during my class. Really, Jill? They were really? tired. They were tired. Well, then know? they People need to be tired. tired somewhere else. No, they need to be in class. Get some learning in. They weren't learning anything in their sleep. <laughs> they were present. So they so they were learning they by were, osmosis. They were Is that what you're saying? Partially present. They were trying. They were trying. So you know what what can we you know, they were trying. They yeah. were only trying to sleep. In fact, I would wake them up. I, I you know, you're I didn't want to touch anybody. So I would do things like go and stand next to them and start speaking loudly to wake them up to wake them up okay and most of the time that you know they would wake up with with one eye and at first they're they're stunt they're startled because they're like who they didn't know who i was at first you know like why are you here <laughs> well you know well and ha- then some went right back to sleep haven't there been studies that show that people can learn while asleep not that I have seen, no. But I do have a study right, to talk on, about. Come on, you can I put do have on, a study. You can put on some headphones before you go to sleep and just play the stuff you want to learn. And your mind will absorb some of that knowledge. So that's worked for you? Oh, yeah. I I don't think Well, I, right. actually, to sleep every night, I put in earbuds and I play... Um, Music, piano, music. But that's different than relaxing. It's not, you're not learning. You're relaxing. Yeah, I'm, re- I'm learning. I'm learning about music and notes and and how music. And it is probably played. puts you to sleep, so you're not really learning. No, it's not to. I don't play it to put me to sleep. I play it to drown out any noises that are around me because I'm a light sleeper. Oh. So if I hear any type of noise, I wake up. I see. I see. That's all, that's, all, that's all that is. Well, so do you so you believe that people should I believe if a person sleep needs at work? To, if a person needs to take a nap, whether they take it during lunch or during their break, they should take a nap. Like you know, if you get a 15 minute break, they take a 15 minute cat nap, set a timer. Take a t- cat nap and and get up. Yes, I do. I I totally believe that if you are feeling really tired at your job, and you're not able to perform properly, taking a little nap is okay. It's a it's a it's a good thing to do uh, as long as it doesn't interfere with your job. So yes, if like you driving, take, you wouldn't want to do that. I mean, if you're a professional driver, you wouldn't want well, to do it as, while as you're you driving. As you all know, for many years, I was a over-the-road professional driver. So, And if I got too tired to drive, sometimes I would have to pull over and take, you know, a 15-minute break, uh, a nap, or 30 minutes. So, so, But that's a job that it's expected. But if you're, if you're at... You're, you know, let's say you have an office job, right? And for whatever reason, you didn't sleep the night before, not because you were hanging out at the club or anything, just because you're stressed and and all of that. And you need to take, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, time to take a nap, you know. Um, if you need to do that, I think you should be able to do that because you will perform better uh, after the nap. A, a, a 15 minute nap will help you. And if you need to take a 30 minute nap during your lunch break, I think that's a good thing. Take take your nap. Take your nap. And you'll you'll be a lot better. Now maybe you have a job where you work around. Don't start giving advice. Machinery. We're not there. Yet. We're not, there. I'm We're just not saying, in that segment yet. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, Jill. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you need to take a nap, take a nap. Do what you need to do. Now, if you need to hide to do that, maybe <laughs> you go to the restroom. <laughs> You're gonna take a nap in the restroom. Yes. Yes. Oh, take a nap. In that the sounds restroom. nasty. 
Hey, if you got to go to the restroom and sit down, just take a nap. Where? In the stall. That sounds really nasty. It really does. Like, what if What's you, the difference what if between you, like, that and you know, using like when, the when, facilities? When people are sleeping, some of them, you know, like, like do like this. So what if you, like, fall off, fall no, or something? No, I already showed you how to do it. <laughs> I think we should move on to our next segment. My stance is, it depends. That's my stance. Wake up. Wake up, Tony. Wake up. <laughs> I, I think we should get to sleep. our next segment that we call I I'm sleep. trying to help you I think you need help because you're trying to go to sleep during the show <laughs> I might need a nap I'm, I'm right now sleepy. I am really tired uh, sleepy yeah well, this is the segment where we give advice. So you were given advice before. What do you want to say now? No, why don't you start? Because you're, you're probably going to say something like, you shouldn't be napping on the job. Well, it depends on the job. Yes. I mean, if, if people are going to die because you take a nap, no, right. you should like, not take a nap. Like, I wouldn't want, you know, a control tower, you know, when I'm yes. flying. I wouldn't want anyone to fall asleep. But the but they can take a nap or machinery on their break. if you're operating any type yes, of machinery. Yes, but they get a break. They can. Well, take that a, well that um, was my advice. Is if if you're really that exhausted, uh, you you should wait until a break, and also uh, <laughs> make sure that it's short, like fifteen. Yeah. Studies do say fifteen to thirty minutes. If you're if you're gonna nap, that's that's how you do it. And also consider the time. You know, um, some people are more productive during the you know morning hours instead of afternoon. I'm mm -hmm. the exact opposite. So I would want to take my if I were gonna take a nap, that's when I would do it is in the morning. In the morning. Yep. And you're right. Okay. It does make you more productive. There are yeah. many benefits to napping. Yeah, the, you know the problem is in this in this country we're so um, work driven. Um, that's the way it is. That's how we are in this country. We're really work driven and push, 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 push through. You know, one time I told my doctor, "So what did you do about it?" And I said, "I just pushed through," and she just was like. <laughs> <laughs> She yes. just shook her head. And that's, was, and that's what she, she would was, do. Um, yeah, she's just... Mm, she always mm. shook her head at the things we said and did. <laughs> we had the same doctor for a while. And that's that, yeah. that's so, exactly what she did. So, yeah, sometimes, you know, uh, we're, we're always trying to push through. But uh, if you need... I, I think it's okay to take a nap at work if you take it on your break. I mean, I have taken naps on particular jobs where I wasn't on a break. And uh, I actually, like, went to sleep, sleep. <laughs> like out for the, for the day? I laid down, <laughs> closed my eyes, and went to sleep for, you know, like 45 minutes, an hour. I, I, you know, I had taken a um, part-time third shift job and I found a place where I could hide and lay down and take a nap. So I, I would, because I was so sleepy, you know, taking a third, I already had a full-time business and then I needed, to, you know, take a, you know, a, a third shift job to help make ends meet. And yeah, I would, I would go to sleep. And I guess part of that was, I wasn't really concerned. I was concerned, but if they caught me and let's say the worst case scenario is they fired me, I would have been okay. It's a third shift job. I just took it to, and then I would go get another job somewhere and, and find a place to go to sleep. So, it was okay. So the stakes weren't high. It wasn't like my main source of income. So, so the, it depends on 
which job yeah, it, it is. All, yeah, so it's also yeah. So if if it's a if it's a part time third shift job and you can find a place to hide and go to sleep, by all means, do it. <laughs> do it. 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 You'll feel a lot better afterwards. And it's rewarding because you'll feel like, um, okay, yeah, I, this third shift job's okay. I get to uh, go there, work for a little bit, take a nap for an hour, and then go back to work. Cool. Well, I, I'm, so, I'm sure that some people are wondering to themselves, well, what does this have to do with relationships? A lot. Oh. <laughs> because... Basically, what we're talking about is sleep deprivation, right? That's why you would sleep on the job is you needed sleep. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. So sleep deprivation leads to many things, such as a bad mood. True. Such as no product, you know, uh, they low probably, productivity. Yeah, but yes, in low. but in a relationship, you know, like you're 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 too tired to do anything with your yeah. family. Yeah. You, you know, don't even want to partner. socialize with your family or partner. You just mm. and you'll you'll miss a lot too because you're not as alert. Yeah, and they could just be telling you, you know, that they just committed this horrific crime, and you would miss it. Yeah, and 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 like you might go on a date and fall asleep at a concert. Oh, like somebody I know. Like, who falls asleep at a Prince concert? I did. He does. <laughs> and I still married him. I still married him. I did it, but it wasn't my fault. And many of you have heard that story before, so I won't say. But it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. It was his fault. No, it wasn't. It was. It was your fault. I was getting. No, it, I was going to say it was drugs. But it wasn't that you drugs. Took. It was it was a new medication that I was on, and it said Which do has, not. It said do not take with alcohol. And so, of course, you did. Oh, it wasn't intentional. We went to it a restaurant. Listen, we went to a restaurant before we went to the concert, and they gave us some free drinks. Which no what one. What am I supposed to no do? No one made you drink it. Free drinks? No one made okay. you drink it. Okay. No one made him drink it. You did. You drank it. No. You drank it too. I did drink it, but I did not fall asleep. I was on at new the concert, medication. Which had and a warning that you shouldn't sleep, or I'm sorry, drink hmm. with this new medication. Medication. Free drink. Hmm. Hmm. Free drink wins out every time. Remember that episode we did where, you know, Jill, yeah. angelic Jill is on your shoulder and devilish Jill is on your shoulder? Actually, not me at all on your shoulder. No, angel was, and devil. Yeah, angel Just, and, and, devil. and what did I say? Just don't listen to the devil. Don't listen to the devil. Well, that night I listened to the devil. You sure and did. And I drank my free drink. Devil said, hey, come on, have this free drink. Yeah, and the, and the angel said, no, but you're on new meds, and you shouldn't take it. And the devil <laughs> said, no, come on, come on, man, have this free drink. It's a free drink. You know that drink costs about $18, and you need to drink it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's right. I need to drink that drink. So I drank it, and I didn't drink the whole thing. I didn't. I didn't drink the whole thing. Uh because I start feeling the effects because I took some new medication. So uh, <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have taken the free drink. But it, it was good. I mean, it was good. It was okay. I mean, I, I fell asleep at a, at a Prince concert. Um, I don't know how. I really don't know how. It was the alcohol mixed with the new medication, you know? Well, I didn't hold it against you. I didn't forget it, and but you, I didn't hold it against you. And you, you. know, uh, back then, I also was um, I was self-employed, uh, and I worked many hours a week. I probably worked 90 hours a week. So you add all of that together, it was like the perfect storm. You know? Boom. 
<laughs> but it was good because it was the beginning of our relationship. So then after that, you knew what to expect. Right? We're still together. Eight, like I said, 18, I didn't hold, 19 I didn't years hold it later. against you. Yeah. I didn't hold it against you. But that so is, is proof good. that sleeping, sleep deprivation, well, in your case, it wasn't a deprivation issue. But sure sleep can affect relationships. Oh, you know, if you're working 90 hours a week, it will have an effect on your body. Oh, well, sure. So, yeah. Sure. That's understandable. Okay. That is. Well, shall we get to our. Last segment. By the way, I think uh, um, yeah. we would be remiss if we didn't say, I do believe that some of you are commenting on Facebook. Usually we can see it. Tonight we cannot. <laughs> For some reason, we're getting yes. a message that there has been some type of error. However. An error? Error. New Yorker. Error. That's what it is, an error. That's E-R-A. Error. That's E-R-A. Era. Okay. <laughs> it's an era. All what are right. you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. Well, anyway, if you're, if you're commenting, please continue to do so. Again, we, we won't be able to respond to it directly during the show, but after the show, I'll go back in and and respond. But also not to, we don't really want you to switch where you're watching. But right. you can probably comment through the website, uh, actually. No. So, no? Mm -mm. What's wrong with the website? I don't have comments on my website. Uh huh? <laughs> you can do it on Tony's website. You can uh -huh. watch the show on Tony's How website. How could you not have um, comments on the website? It's a moderation thing for me. But anyway, <laughs> let's get to our last segment that we call. Never mind. Hey. <laughs> Did you hear about this? Did you hear about that? Did you hear about that? This is the segment where I always talk about some study that I've seen. By the way, when we planned this show, we didn't realize, I don't think, at least I didn't, that it's National Sleep Awareness Month. Did I did you know not that? know that. I did not know, I did not know that, Jill. And that, uh, March 15th was National Napping Day. I'm really sorry I missed out on that. <laughs> I didn't I know missed that out on either. That. So we're supposed to take naps. Yes. In fact, the studies do show, in spite of everything that I said throughout this show, that taking a nap while you work is a good thing. Hmm. And some companies, Nike and what was the other company I saw? Um I know there are some companies that actually have um, it, Pizza Hut is the other one. Pizza Nike Hut. and Pizza Hut actually have nap, nap pods for their employee, and which is a room where you can go and sleep. It, it's designed for you to do that. You can't uh -huh. stay in there more than 30 minutes, uh -huh. but they actually encourage it because... Like you were saying earlier, Ooh. there are many benefits to taking a nap. Okay. And really quick, Deborah has got oh, through with her comments. You did. And because she said, love you guys. We can see it. We love you too. Yes. 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 Okay, continue. I interrupted. Um, so there are many benefits benefits of course to taking a nap on the job if yeah. if it's not you know a matter of life and death for someone for yes, you or yes, someone yes. um and the studies found that the happiest employees take at least 15 days of paid time off during a year that's uh -huh. the number one thing that makes employees happy uh -huh. the one after that is or second to that is Taking daily naps. Hmm. Oh, gosh. This, this. Oh, gosh. This is so interesting. So, ha as off the wall as I sounded, okay? Everybody was like, oh, Tony's ridiculous, talking about taking naps on the job and all of that. And that he, he tries to do that when he can. And yet... 
it turns out that everything that I was saying turns out to be, to be, <laughs> to be true. Tony took us off the air, but that's okay. <laughs> to be, you still heard me. You still heard me. We got a lot of buttons we press over here. So, to be true. So, yes. So, and, no matter and... how ridiculous I sound. I speak the truth. You did tonight. I, I'll give you I that. I usually tonight, speak the truth. You were right. Yes. I'm usually right. I but tonight, am right. You, you were right. In <laughs> fact, even though no one admitted it on the poll, I conducted uh -huh. one in four people admit that they've not only fallen asleep at work, but guess how often? Probably a few times a week. Yes. More yeah. than half uh -huh. out of a five-day week. Yeah. Have yeah, done people it. are tired. But it does increase productivity. It increases alertness. Mm -hmm. We've already talked about the better moods. Um, yeah, and it actually lowers your blood pressure, too. There you go. There's so many health reasons. Not, not, not only physical health, but mental health reasons for taking a nap at work. At work. So bosses, don't get upset because you'll probably get more out of your employees. Well, like I said, if you got to do one in the bathroom stall, That's take still a little That's not where I would do it. Yeah, but you, look, everybody use uh, people use the bathroom stall for many things. People use bathroom stall for sex also. Have you done that? No. It's nasty as <laughs> nasty in there. That's what I keep telling you. That is what I keep telling you. But I take a nap in one. Uh, yeah. Mm. You're in there anyway. It's still nasty. You're in there anyway, right? I mean, if it's that nasty, you wouldn't use it at Maybe all. Maybe that's the only place you can. Especially women. Folks, this is the pose. And you could just go to sleep. Set a timer, though. Do that, yes. yes. Set a timer. <laughs> <laughs> and worst case scenario, if they come looking for you and they wake you up, you say, I, I don't know what I don't know what happened. Where am I? Where 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 am I? And see, then then they'll think you're ill. And that's a good reason for you know, being in the stall that long. Uh, what's going on? Where, where am I? Toto. <laughs> to Toto, where oh, are you? So now you're in so, Oz. Yeah, that's, a, that's, all, that's all you have to do. <laughs> that's it. And you're out. And then, and then oh, somebody, oh, do you need to go? Do you need to go to the infirmary? You know, yeah. Uh, and and you, then you can go to the infirmary and you even get a little infirmary? more rest. Infirmary? Where are yes. you talking about? You go about? to the infirmary. It's where, where are you, you talking uh, about? When you're at work and you need to go to the nurse. I've never, I don't, you I've never had infirmary. a workplace that had an infirmary. <laughs> you go to the nurse. Like They've taken when, me to the hospital before, but there is no on-site infirmary. Some, some, some places actually have like a nurse on staff. Never where I worked. Well, places that deal with... They had a gym. They had a daycare. Big places but they that... they did not have a nurse on staff. Big places that deal with industry have, like, nurses that come on staff. But, Jill, I think we have someone that wants to be on the show. I see someone here. What? Whoa. Let's find <gasps> out who Look that who it is. is. <laughs> what? Let's bring her up. Let's 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 see how we do this, but we got to get rid of some stuff first. So get rid of that, Jill. I don't know where you put it. Yeah, we go. We got to press that and we're going to get you up here in just a moment. Let's see. Here we go. Crystal! Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, I'm so excited. You all just don't understand. I am so excited <laughs> to see her. Hi, Crystal. Hello, you can, can speak. You hello, hello. There Sounds we go. Right. We've got you. <laughs> okay. 
How uh, are you? I'm sorry, Aunt Jill. I'm doing great. <laughs> Wonderful. Good, good. So do you want to chime in on these you're, last you're couple Tony, of minutes? Team Tony, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Is that what you're going to say, Team Tony? <laughs> yes, I am Team Tony. Um, I definitely agree with you, Uncle Tony. Um, oh. At one job, I would work at a call center, and I would eat my lunch, let's say, from 2 to 2.30, but my lunch break was from 3 to 4. So from three to four, I would go into my car and I would take a nap during that time. And then the next job that I got, um, sometimes I would have to actually be a courier. And I may have to do like two or three courier routes, sometimes an overnight, and it would get very tiring. I had 60 employees throughout an entire state of New Jersey. And sometimes if I was uh, you know, in New Jersey driving, and I was tired, I would pull over at a rest stop and sleep for about an hour or so before I continued on oh. working. Uh, right. It always made me feel refreshed. And, um, you know, I was ready to complete the rest of my business day. Excellent. That is excellent. excellent. See, see, Tony's so right. So Crystal should have like been like I would have agreed a lot sooner if Crystal had said that at the start of the show. She could have co-hosted with me, and then we it would have been we're both right. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but um, um, but Crystal, we love you so much. But we the do. show is getting ready. We to love you, end. love you, love you, love you. <laughs> so excited to see you. You look great. Yes, love you. Ah. Okay, so we're going to take you down off the stage. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks All for right. talking. We'll see you later. Bye. So, everyone, we're we're going to start closing out this show, I believe. Yeah. So we got to push some buttons because we're at 30 minutes. So, anyway, we do love that everyone was here and we appreciate your comments and the ones we may not have seen but we'll go back like i said if you if you wrote comments I, I will respond to them after the show yes so remember to check us out every wednesday night at 8 p.m uh try to watch from jillcox.com and click on the that podcast that is not the website jill cox <laughs> that is not cordova. my name <laughs> jill that's not cox, even my name <laughs> jillcoxcordova.com and click the podcast tab that's 8 p.m every wednesday night that's what you need to do all right and also check out my other show the soul reader and you can get a free psychic empathic reading there and i am very discreet i will not divulge anything about you that you do not wish to divulge and that's every tuesday night at 9 p.m eastern and check that out at knowtobestill.com slash podcast you can also watch it on youtube and facebook oh look one more show, which is Poetic People Fighting Racism, and that's where I use uh, my poetry to um, be an activist. And that is every other Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. The next show is on April 6th, I believe. So, here we are. That We're, is correct. We are going to close out this show. We love you we all. We love you all. We thank are, you so much. We especially Crystal, love, we love you. you. Crystal, Cousin thank Debbie, you so much love for you. calling. And Cousin Debbie, yes. Ooh, yes. All the relatives are showing <laughs> oh, up. No. Oh, showing oh. up. That's right. All right. So, anyway, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for coming. And till next time. Love no, you all, all again, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.